Let me give you some background here. Our friend Nick Yeba from the great Teresa's Italian Eatery in Middleton has a massive new project at what was formerly the Thompson Country Club in North Reddit. Now, this was a multi-million dollar renovation that includes a pool club, a function facility, a sports bar, and a high-end steakhouse. Great steaks, great chops, great fish. It's casual but upscale, very sleek, kind of got a Miami feel to it. My name is Nick Yeba Jr. and I'm the chef here at Teresa's Prime. I'm Nick Yeba and this is Teresa's Prime in North Reading. The atmosphere here at Teresa's Prime is that of a high-end steakhouse. The decorations, the decor is absolutely gorgeous. The woods are dark, the colors are bright. You watch the chefs do the cooking. It's an open kitchen. We've got a gorgeous granite and uh, cherry bar. It's not a restaurant, it's not a steakhouse. It's a complex. There's a lot going on between the pools. We have a pool membership club called Resorts North. We also have a pub called Grill 19 with lighter fare downstairs, a 250 seat function facility adjacent to the steakhouse, and obviously Teresa's Prime, which is our baby. Let me tell you about our bacon appetizer. It is absolutely terrific. This bacon was the first item that we worked on on the, on the menu. Triple cut bacon. We slow cook it for about four hours. Very, very low heat, render the fat. As it comes out and cools, then we flash it under the salamander with a Maker's Mark bourbon glaze. And so you get that real crisp layer on the outside, almost like creme brulee. But then as you get into the center, it gets tender and soft, so it is just to die for. The bacon is second to none. We use 100% Brandt Beef Prime. The difference between us and a lot of other steakhouses is we cut all our own steaks in-house. We have a butcher shop set, set up downstairs in the restaurant where chefs will come in in the morning and prepare all the steaks for the evening. Salt bend broiler, 1600 degrees, really get a nice char on the steak. The bone and sirloin, you get that nice little crust on the outside. Not burnt though. When you cut into that steak, that sirloin, it almost has a filet mignon texture to it. It's a deep rich beef flavor. The bone and sirloin is off the charts. What a steak. Thick, juicy, and just delectable. Filet mignon, most popular thing on the menu. We just do a simple salt and pepper rub on them. It's about that thick. You cut it and it just nice and pink in there. It's terrific. It, it really is. What we do different here is um, not only do we serve 100% prime beef, we also give you two sides with every steak. These are not cheesy sides. These are real nice sides, sides that you can really put your teeth into. We do a twist on a lot of the traditional sides, fried cipollini onions, obviously mashed potatoes. I like the uh, Brussels sprouts are nice, mac and cheese is delicious, and what we do for a little extra, we put the lobster on top of that there. Creamy, made to order, probably one of the most popular sides on our menu right now. Crab cakes are just off the charts. I have a wife that loves crab cakes, and we've had them all over the world, <laughs> and she's had to please. She loves these crab cakes. It's all lump crab. Not a lot of breadcrumbs, nice sear on the outside, and you get that soft, moist texture on the inside, which is unbelievable. For dessert, the only choice on the menu for me is the milk and cookies. You wanna see something special? We got fried Oreo cookies. You ever have fried Oreo cookies? All my life, I never had them till now. They're delicious. You know, you say you gotta save room. People save room to eat the Oreo cookies. With a nice cold glass of milk in the center of that plate, it's a no-brainer, really. In addition to this restaurant, downstairs we have Grill 19. Huge bar, plenty of TVs, and just a lot of fun. We serve stuff that you like. Big, thick hamburgers, fish and chips, you name it, we got it downstairs. As you pull into our parking lot, I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous. There are waterfalls, stone walls for almost 300 feet. We have a huge fountain that's in the middle of the complex that actually has fire. It sets the mood, it sets the feeling. The landscaping is off the charts. It feels right. I've been working with my son, Nicky, from the first day with Teresa's uh, Eatery in, in Middleton. It's been a great experience. Some people say they can't get along with family. I wouldn't have it any other way. We get along very well. It's my dad. He does a lot of yelling, but we also have a lot of laughs. We want you to come in and enjoy your meal. Walk out of here happy. Not only that the service was great, the food was great, but it was affordable. That's what we do here. That's what made Teresa's Italian Eatery as famous as it is. You get your money's worth. That's a value. And we appreciate your business, so we're going to keep on doing that as long as you keep on coming back. Yeah.